Hi and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install WAM server on Windows 10. So first is where you're going to go to Google and then search for WAM server. And then we go to the official website of WAM server. So once you're there, you go to the downloads section. Okay, here. So from here, you can see that there are two versions for one server that we can download. We have the 64 bits and we have the 32 bits. So in this case, you have to check first your system, what system type you have. So for me, I have here a 64-bit operating system. So therefore, I will download the 64-bit bits installer. So click download directly. Okay, so this will bring you to the download page. So your download will start shortly. And then the WAM server installer will be downloaded to your machine. So it, so it will come at this part. Okay, when the download is finished, you can click on the installer and proceed with the, with the installation. Okay, then double click on the installer and follow the installation instructions. Okay, double click on the installer. And click yes. Okay, so then which component should be installed? And we choose if you want to install also the PHP 7. And then, of course, we need MySQL. Then we click Next. Install. So by default, the WOM server will be installed in your drive C or your in your local drive C. So let us uh, wait for the installer to extract and install all the files on your computer. Now installation is almost done. Let us wait for a few seconds for it to complete. Then it will ask you what the browser will be used by one server. Do you want another version? So you click no. And then just click no. I click next and finish. Okay, after you have installed your WOM server, your WOM server shortcut will be placed on your desktop. So to launch your WOM server, you can double click on your WOM server shortcut. Click yes. WOM server now is loading. And the while it's loading, you can see here in your taskbar, you have here the WOM server icon. Then you can see here in your taskbar that the web the WAMP server icon is uh, in the color of green, so it means that all services are currently running effectively. Then we can try to check now if our server is loading properly. Then we can open our browser, then we can write localhost. Okay, now if you see this page, it means that your WAMP server has been successfully installed. And then, as you can see here, under our projects, we don't have any projects yet. Okay, now, the default uh, location of the WOM server installation is actually in drive C of your local computer. Then you're going to have their WOM64 folder. And the document root is, uh, by default, uh, located in your C WOM64 WW. So the document root folder is where you can save your files that can be loaded to your web server. So for example, I will make one folder here. Let's say e-commerce. As you can see, when I refresh my web server page, I can now see here 
my e-commerce. Okay, so now you have your folder that you created in your WW will come under your project. So if you want to see the files inside that folder, you can write localhost and you can write the name of your folder. So now we don't have anything in our folder, so we cannot see any files there. Now another thing is if you want to uh, start all services of your server, you want to stop the services, you can restart all the services, you can access through the here. If you want also to reconfigure or do some configuration settings for your Apache or your PHP or even your MySQL, you can also access on this part. So if you want to change the location of your document root, you can go edit your httpt.conf. And then if you want to have some additional configurations for your PHP, you can go you can open up here in the php.ini. So that's it. We now have a running warm server in your local computer. Thank you and goodbye.